Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be going through a way in which we can calculate opportunity cost when we're given production possibility information. So in this case I've got Jack and Mary who can make radios or TVs. In these sorts of questions often you get countries or sometimes firms and the point is that the numbers in the table they represent the maximum amount of each of the goods that either of the individuals in this case Jack and Mary can make so for instance if Jack put, pulled all of his resources towards making radios then he could make four that means he's not making any TVs if he's making four radios if he pulled all his resources into making TVs he could make six again that means that he's not putting any resources towards radios at that point now, in terms of thinking about opportunity cost, I've got the definition here. So opportunity cost is the value of the next best foregone alternative. When we have examples like this, when we have a couple of people or firms or countries or whatever, and we have two goods, we're going to frame our statements of opportunity cost in terms of how much of one good we have to give up in order to make some amount of the other good. So there's a very natural interpretation of opportunity costs here, given that the figures represent the maximum amount that um, either individual could make. We can see, see here that Jack's opportunity cost of producing four radios is going to be six TVs, right? Because if he puts all of his resources into making radios, he can make four of them, but that means he's not making any TVs. If he had used those resources to make TVs, he could make six, right? So his opportunity cost of producing four radios is six TVs. Likewise, we can read off the table, Mary's opportunity cost of producing three radios, well, that's just nine TVs because that, that's her production possibilities. That's the maximum amount that she could make. So this is perfectly fine in terms of statements of opportunity cost. This is absolutely, uh, completely great. But the problem is often we don't want our statements of opportunity cost just in terms of four or three or seven or six or nine or, or, or however number of goods. We just want it in terms of one good. So instead of thinking about Jack's opportunity cost of producing four radios, which is quite easy to read off the table, we would just like his opportunity cost in terms of one radio um, or Mary's opportunity cost of producing just one radio. So this is where some students get a little bit confused and it is a bit confusing with the um, fractions and everything. My method for getting past this is just to rewrite our table since it was so easy to read opportunity costs off the table before, right? So for Jack, well, we know that he at most can make four radios or six TVs. Now, as I said before, we want our opportunity cost in terms of one radio, right? So how do I get four into one? Well, I divide by four. So 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1, but in order for this to be a legitimate operation, in, in order to preserve the, the ratio of, of how many TVs the jack is giving up when he's making this one radio, I also have to divide the other side by 4. So 6 divided by 4, which is 3 over 2, which is 1.5. So now I have jack's opportunity cost just in terms of one radio, that's 1.5 TVs. I can do the same thing with Mary, so I've got her opportunity cost of three radios, that's nine TVs, but if I want just Mary's opportunity cost of one radio, well, how do I make three into one? Divide by three. But I have to make sure I do it to the other side to preserve that ratio, so nine divided by three is three. So Mary's opportunity cost of producing one radio is three TVs. And that's it. All I'm doing is rewriting the table, but just normalizing uh, the figures in the table down to one. And in this case, I've done radios. You can flip it around and do TVs, in which case you'd just be working it the other way. So for instance, Jack's opportunity cost of producing uh, one TV, well, you would have to divide both sides by six because six divided by six is one, and then you would get four divided by six, um, etc. So I'll leave that up. Uh, for you guys to do, I hope that helped. That's just one of a few different ways in, in which you can think about uh, finding opportunity costs from production possibilities, actually. Uh, but this one seems to be useful for um, quite a lot of students, I find. Anyway, I hope you guys are having fun um, studying economics. Please have a, a look at my channel, like, subscribe, uh, check out my other videos. Have, have a great day.